All right, we're back again. We got myself, Sergeant Rhino, and Deadly Fox. Here we got a uh, what? What is it? Rank match, one v one, Terran versus Terran. We got myself in red, and we have in blue. Duvalier Rock, lower right hand corner. As you can see again, it's another uh, it's another battle of the Terran, doing the different different Terran builds. So I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. We already pretty much know the basics of what the Terran do: build supply depot, barracks, and another supply depot to block that off. We got uh, Dubler Rock over here closing up his top ramp. As for me, I go for the bottom ramp always. It seems like I'm a, I'm obsessed with that bottom ramp. You wanna tell them why? Well, the reason, reason I'm obsessed with it, I can't stress this enough, if I close that bottom ramp off, you can't really see if I'm expanding or what I got behind that wall. So that gives me a little bit too, two bases to work with. Now we're looking at the Ohana map, and so for both Terran players, we, we can see that each one has an expansion ramp. Dubler Rock seems like he's liking to try to play with his food. Yeah, here we go. We're, we're off to the races again. We got blue in front, followed by me, red, trying to get a little poke action going here real quick. Sometimes you kind of make me wonder when you start talking like that. <laughs> little probe action with the SUV. Yeah, that's a little disturbing. That's not an SUV. It's an SUV. You got you got to enunciate. Mm -hmm. SCV, thank you. <laughs> it's all the same when you put it in contest. Only because it's a robot. Yeah, it's the hardest working robot in the game. Okay, so, Dubler Rock, we got him uh, pulling in a command center upgrade and calling down mules. He's going for that early rush for refinery. So, on the other hand, I got my expansion. I did that in, in three minutes, 3.12 minutes. I'm trying to get that. Got a, got a bunker going just in case. So I could, uh, the reason for the bunker is you want to have that bunker out there just in case you got Marines, Zelod, Zergs coming up the, the bottom of the ramp. You could shoot them before they get up there. And I'm starting my uh, second barracks right now. Now Terran v Terran, not very common for uh, us to see uh, somebody like Dooley Rock. He's already at four, almost five minutes in, and he hasn't even done anything more than trying to scout the base. And he's already not expanding yet. He's just going straight for barracks. So he's trying to pump out those Marines pretty fast. He has a tech lab, and he has his reactor on, other, on the other one. So he's trying to get that uh, Marine marauder, marauder going. He's got a good closeout on his primary ramp. No expansion yet. Uh, let's see, he looks like he's starting to build some more. No, he got turret he's tower got too. He's got a turret for his defense, nope. so he thinks... Sensor uh, tower. He's trying to play it safe for those uh, Banshee attacks, which, uh, Terran v Terran, that's pretty safe, probably pretty smart. Banshees with cloaking do a lot of damage, and uh, without that uh, sensor tower, can do some pretty serious damage. Yep. Yeah, he he's goes for an expansion so. right now. It's kind of... With, with Terran B. Terran doing an expansion this late could probably end up costing you the game. Because in the meantime, you guys saw how I did my early expansion at three minutes. So I'm already calling down mules in both both the command centers to get double the minerals. Barely working on my gas right now. Got three, three barracks out, one factory. Got to get that tech lab to get those siege tanks. And I'm working on my starport. As you can see, I got every everything right here. I'm trying to capitalize right now, so it's just. It looks like a uh, Dubler Rock is uh, hanging on to that gas, so I'm kind of curious to see what exactly he has of his sleeve, because any uh, average Terran knows that uh, gas is only capitalized when it's actually being used. So either he has some tricks up his sleeve, or he's trying to plan for the long game. Looks like right now. He's got uh, three barracks going, he's got a reactor, he's got a tech lab, he's going for upgrades, he's going for his factory. So, if he's going factory, he's either going tanks or he's... Uh, Another barracks. Oops. He's trying to push those marines with the upgrades. 
He's barely with this command center. He's too concerned about pushing more more uh, SCVs instead of getting that over orbital command. And uh, he's still racking in that that gas, so he's still not capitalizing on that. It's good that he's uh, got his expansion finally. He's finally uh, relocated some of his SCVs. He's calling down mules from his main base, but uh, the fact that he hasn't capitalized in uh, upgrading his second base, it's going to prove rather risky because uh, it's going to limit his ability to scan. It's going to limit his ability to call down mules. Hate to say it, but, you know, Terran v. Terran, two bases tend to want to go at least two command center upgrades. Yeah. Two call downs, two scans. Proves pretty beneficial. As you can see over here, I already got those uh, medevacs going. Got medevacs. I'm barely building my engineer base. So I'm a little bit slower when it comes to that, but I'm capitalizing on everything else. I'm trying to get the units out there. The more units I have, the better. And uh, Terran v. Terran, you normally, if you're going to see a Banshee push, you would have seen it already by now. So, for right now, let's uh, check out some defense strategy. Good defense strategy is always to think in the long game offense. You know you want to out-counter their, their attacks if they're getting ready to be on the move. Obviously, you're not going to know that until they hit your wall, but that's why we have a bunker. Yeah, importance of that bunker plus that tank's up there. So if just in case they were to attack, I would have put that tank in siege mode, and he already would have been firing down the firing down that ramp too. So I got the medevacs. I'm building turrets too, just in case he wants to do a drop on me. <laughs> He's saying that he he hates Terran B Terran because I just scanned him twice. Not to mention, Terran v Terran always ends up being, 90% uh, of the time, a really long game. Anything between 15 minutes and possibly anywhere up to 2 hours, depending on the players. If you're going Hard battle for battle. Me, the longest Terran v Terran match that I ever had was an hour and 40 minutes. That was a long battle. Yeah, it's pretty brutal for uh, being able to concentrate that long. Yeah, especially if you have a short attention span. My attention span is a two-year-old, so it gets kind of difficult after a while. Oh, we got Dubler Rock here doing a third expansion, so for whatever reason, he feels he needs to capitalize. Oh. Sergeant Rhino is getting ready to do a drop. Forget about the third expansion. Let's bypass that and drop it on the second. Let's go for those SCDs. Attack the minerals from the get-go. I'm trying to do a drop, but he kind of followed me there, so I just said forget it. I'm going to drop it on that turret. I don't know why, but I decided to just drop it on the turret, try to take that turret out. Okay, you still got two medevacs, so you're still able to drop the remaining troops and build a good defense right there on his uh, incoming attacks. Marauders, well, they serve their purpose, to be but to be honest, they kind of serve as a weak link if they can't line up properly fast enough. Yeah, if they're outnumbered by Marines, as you see, I kind of... He was more concentrated on taking that tank out, which gave me the opportunity to go straight for his supply line. Trying to do damage there. Forget it, forget that I got tanks coming in. So doing damage. Medevac's in the range of the turret, but the Marines took it out. So the only thing left to do, forget about the supply depots, go straight for the command center. But now I gotta you know, all or nothing. Take out those marauders. Try to do as much damage to those tanks as I can. Oh, my mouse. Sorry about that. My mouse was going a little crazy. I don't know why. It has a mind of its own sometimes. So as you see, he he clearly just destroyed me on that that one. But what do you see here? I'm getting ready for another attack. Rock doesn't have enough troops to be on the defensive on that kind of attack. He's uh, doing pretty good on resources with 30 SCVs out since he called them away from the line of fire. He's got two medevacs, two marauders. He's, he's a little lagging on it. To be honest though, that fire line is pretty deadly. He's pretty much got no chance in winning against that. It all depends on what he's getting ready to pop out. So, whoa, there we go with my mouse being all crazy. 
<laughs> As you can see here, my Marines are trying to hold that line. Get the tanks in closer. Get them on siege mode. And we have my Marines. I'm marching my way up that ramp. At this point, I kind of... Looks like I split a, split a good group off to hit a mineral line. And yeah. That's, Sorry, Doobler Rock. That's a good game. Yeah, he called it quits after that. He already knew. So uh, that's a really decent Terran v Terran. Obviously, one's passive, one's aggressive. Double base for each one. Early or late expansion. Take your risk in either way. But uh, definitely, that was definitely a good game. So uh, we'll definitely see you on the battlefield. Doobler Rock, definitely a good game. Good game.